Good afternoon and good morning. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Wake Up Call, the 7th of July. And with it being Wednesday, what we are going to be doing is we're going to dive straight in because we have got a masterclass and, of course, we have got, with it being Wednesday, it is uh, the staple show, and that is Creative Cravings. Now, masterclass, that's going to be with Debbie Fisher. So she's going to be having a masterclass on our, uh, what's kind of like our edibles, you know, a variety of edibles coming up on the show. One of which we're going to be showcasing just in a moment or two. That being 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Then she's going to be coming back again where she's going to be having a look all through Creative Cravings and giving you lots of ideas, hints and tips when it comes to Creative Cravings. That being 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Time. We're going to be having a look at those that are coming up. I've cherry-picked my three items. We're going to be having a look also at what is our, uh, well, it's our, our hero tool. And let's just say it really is a hero within the crafting that you're going to need. It's back in stock. Nice little uh, extra with a bundle as well. We'll go over that just in a moment or two. But what we're also doing today, usually on a Wednesday, we have our random acts of uh, kindness, random crafts of kindness. So what we're doing for throughout July, we're just giving it just a little bit of a rest at the moment. You can still get all your incredible stories in throughout the month. But every single Wednesday that runs right up till the end of the month, we're going to start a little project. Now today, for around about 10-15 minutes, we're going to do the very basic start of the project. Next Wednesday, we'll do another little bit more. The following Wednesday, a little bit more. By the end of July, we will have a lovely little, well, a Christmas don't want to quite say journal, but a Christmas organiser. So if you like to have everything organised, whether what gifts you're going to get for people, you know, maybe dates that you need to remind yourself, oh, I need, to, I need to order the turkey by such and such a date. Maybe you like to keep the receipts together when it comes to the gift. We're going to have a nice little organiser that's going to be decorated and Christmas themed. That is going to be the end result coming up at the end of July. So we're going to kickstart it with the very, very basics, the start of that organiser right here today on wake up call and while we're doing that with having Debbie back in the building as well for the remainder of the day obviously she will be in tomorrow as well with myself we need someone else we need someone fresh after a lovely couple of days off that is here to just take over from Joe for a little while that of course who else then of course Ben we need Ben back in don't we oh thanks uh, fresh with a new haircut and everything the, the old barber took a little bit too much off um, which caused my wife to say, who on earth did that to your hair? But there we go. Um, it is that's, lovely. That's, what, that's, that's love when it, you get a comment like that since it, you walk in the door. Is it, who on earth did that to your hair? Yeah. By the, by, by the way, uh, two things. Firstly, put your specs back on because I enjoyed seeing you earlier on with your specs on and now you've taken them off. So don't be shy. Share your specs with the rest of the class. Come on. Come on, I've not seen you wear your specs before. That's a good look. Then he looks sophisticated with his specs on, eh? Thank you, do you think so? I, I meant to wear them for uh, like TV and drive. I do tend to wear them just feeling a little bit tired like I am today, you know, yeah. because we had an incredible day on Crafters TV yesterday with Joe and the launches that we had. So just feeling just a little bit, you know, a bit tired in the eyes, but uh, having you back, having wake up call, it doesn't take long before I'm ready to go again. That's it. I mean, and also the other thing I'm really excited about is the fact that you're going to be doing uh, this demo, potentially the longest demo ever over the course of the next four weeks. But of course, the great thing is, I suppose it's like a little craft along that people can exactly. join in with, um, you know, as they go. Absolutely. So either you can craft along with me uh, after each week they've done it. Maybe you want to wait till the end of the month and do it all together. I will just say, Big Boss Erin, she was like, cannot wait until you see what you do today. I was like, well, don't get too excited, Erin. Today's just the basics. Yeah. Today's just the start. You know, that'll go over the next three. Uh, well, in the works out has been four weeks within July. So, uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Nice little uh, change as to a Wednesday. And it's something we've not done this before, but we have done obviously our craft alongs. We've done little components where we'll maybe start at one week, finish the next week. You guys have absolutely loved it. So that's what me and Aaron got together. And I thought, tell you what, let's do this over a month and see what you guys think. Oh, oh, oh. And if you do do it, do do, do do it, then make sure you send in your pictures as well over the course of the next few weeks. And then we can share how you're getting on and mm -hmm. how your projects are looking uh, as Craig moves on to the next bit, week in, week out. So as always, you can send in your pictures to us studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and of course throughout the show uh, if there's anything that you want to ask if there's anything that you want to know you can get in touch in the usual ways on Facebook 
and on YouTube, and we will read out all your comments as we head through the show. Craig. We sure will do. And talking about the show, we are going to dive straight in, and we are going to be having a look at one of the picks that I've picked from Masterclass. And this is all about our edibles. To be more specific, this is our Gemini Decorative Panel Border Dies. 12 elements in total, and I will show you just in a moment where that 12 comes from. See them on your screen right now, the Gemini Decorative Panel Border Die Collection. 12 elements. Everyone today is paying £33 and 77 pence or $38.87 for you guys stateside but if you're platinum that comes all the way down to £27.02 or $31.10 it works out that you're going to be saving 35% when it comes to that little bundle you've seen four on the screen there the reason you've got 12 elements is because you've got the decoration which then cuts into your card so yes they are an, an edgeable sort of look but they are also a creator card because they can cut into anywhere you want within your card so you've got that decoration and you've got the left hand side and the right hand side outline die as well use them together use them separate that is then what gives you the 12 elements so that is one of the edibles that debbie's going to be focusing on on master class 3 p.m here in the uk 10 a.m eastern time 7 a.m pacific time so that's going to be a really really good one this is going to be my first demo where we're going to do uh, well something a little bit different and with it being wake up call because we don't have lots lots amount of time i am going to attempt to do a little bit of paper piece in with these as well to show you how cool they can be but going from a master class to then going to a creative cravings this is so so much fun i love getting inky i love going sometimes i don't want to get two textures with a paste and mixed media this is a good alternative go and mix media style with just your water reactive pigment or quick dry ink pads this is your layer and texture stamp collection collection 51 elements in total so you'll be able to maybe just see on the screen there you've got six uh, packs there but a variety of seven stamps seven stamps eight stamps then coming down into here you've got eight stamps 13 stamps and eight stamps into there. Everyone's paying $39.95 or $49.75. Of course, if you are platinum, even that comes all the way down to $31.96 or $39.80. That's what Debbie's going to be having a look at in a little bit more detail on Creative Cravings. This is, of course, my other pick. So therefore, this is what I'm also going to be de uh, demoing later on in the show on Wake Up Call. So a nice bit of edibles with the die cutting. We're going into a little bit of stamping, but something else that is an absolute essential when it comes to crafting and it comes to die cutting, and that, of course, is a machine. So this is our Gemini MIDI machine. This is our hero tool. So this is the Gemini MIDI machine with free folder, shim and storage bag. Now I'll explain that bundle just in a second. So within this one here, you are saving 30%. It is back in stock. Every single one of you are paying £69.99 or $89.95. But if you're platinum for an A5 handheld Gemini MIDI machine, £55.99 or $71.96. So within this one here, this is, it's the same size basically, same cutting platform as your junior, but instead of it being electric, it's hand cranked. Now you will get what you normally get anyway, and that is the Gemini MIDI. That is one plastic folder because it's folder based, it's not plate based, which both myself and then Debbie will explain throughout our two shows. Then you also get your plastic shim. That is for your 2D embossing folders. But within this deal, what you're getting is the carry case. You're also getting two extra folders and an extra plastic shim as well. So that is your extra, the carry case, two additional plastic folders and an additional plastic shim. That is your hero tool, 69.99, 89.95, or if you are platinum, 55.99, $71.96. So maybe you have been relatively new to crafting, maybe you've started with obviously everything that's been going on in the world, but maybe you've not quite ventured out to die cutting just yet. Not sure where to start. Usually say it'll start off small and progress. 
an absolute winner of a start because if you are doing your staycations, you don't need to worry about electric or anything like that. It is folder based. So no, no electric needed whatsoever. So really, really good selection on Crafters TV today from die cutting to stamping to a hero tool, an absolute must as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to showing you my take as well as getting started on our uh, Christmas planner for throughout July. But we've still got so much more, Ben, with yourself and Debbie throughout the day, don't we? Yeah, we certainly do. It is going to be a jam-packed day. Lovely that so many of you are already in with us. Angela's in from Ontario in Canada. Morning to Linda from Maryland and Georgie Ann Curley from Florida. Uh, Evangeline from Guam and Dee from a muggy eastern Kentucky. Violet's in from North Carolina. Deborah, Louisiana. Jackie from Nebraska. Uh, Lorraine and Pam also there. Uh, Dee just saying, Ben, you look very fresh and handsome with a new cut. Uh, and uh, Linda says, I like the glasses, Craig. I think it's a good look. I like it a lot as well. Uh, and Pamela says, Ben. Like Pamela. Pamela, I'm with you on this one. Ben said, do do. My inner eight year old is cracking up. <laughs> you said do do. Did I say do do? You said you said do do. Oh, do do. Yeah. When did I say do do? Yeah, right at the start. Oh. If you do do. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, as in, if, yeah. You, if you do do, you do do it. Yeah. Do do it. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad that uh, that's caused some amusement there. My uh, in, in a eight-year-old is also cracking up the fact that I said doo-doo. Right, being all professional and adult-like once again, uh, let me tell you about today's Get It, Got It Good. <laughs> I'm laughing about that myself now, actually. Uh, we've got a small guillotine available for you as part of our Get It, Got It Good, kind of a craft room essential, if you like. Um, and the great deal about this today is not only are you going to get um, our amazing guillotine, we're also going to give you um, your uh, luxury red um, card in there included as well. Uh, that comes for that price of uh, 24 99 or uh, 34.95 and that deal is available while stocks last uh, or right throughout this week as well right keep those comments coming in lots of love already uh, about those uh, panel border dies and lots of chat about the fact that we've got the midi back in stock as well that is a really rare deal on that so if you've been waiting for it particularly that is one to jump in for but let's get looking at these um, decorative panel border dies craig is ready and raring to go uh, with the boards he said doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, this is our Gemini decorative panel border dies here. Now I'm going to show you what you're going to be getting within our lovely boards. So it really showcase exactly what you're getting and then we'll show you a few finished samples as well. Now it is 12 elements in total because within each set you get the decoration. So this is the decorative centerpiece and then you've got your two outline dies as well that gives you a multitude of different options so that one there is the stars then we've got same concept but we have got the daisies on this one here then what we've got and this Ooh. is the one that i'm going to be demoing with this is peony it's called peony and it is a peony but i always think of it as a rose yeah i i, I just i i see it more of a rose than a I, peony I agree. but yeah I, it can be any flower you want it to be and then we've also got the butterflies as well so we've got four different options now by having the die on the outside that then create the border what you can then do is create your edgeable so that could be your edgeable that could be your top fold component that you can see here so this has all stayed in place but we've used the outline die to cut along the top so that's one option then on this one here with the peony using all three dies together this has then been die cut out completely and then a little bit of paper piecing down in the bottom Another one now with the star where the whole component has been die cut out completely as well. Yeah. And then this one is only using the decoration bin, not using the outline dies. So you're cutting into your card stock. So you can go in, out, left, right, up, yep. down. Of course you can. Yep. You can yeah. do it all the way. You can do the hokey cokey as well while you're doing <laughs> it if you want to. <laughs> But by having that centre die, that means, you know, to, to explain it in another way, if you've got the Pro, for instance, using that decorative die in the middle on its own, it's going to cut in. So it's going to have that nice decoration all the way around. Would you want to do it on that size? 
you know, maybe that's up to you. But it just gives you that visual explanation as to how it cuts in to your cardstock. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to dive straight in and we're going to use the peony. The, the actual name is peony trellis. And we're going to go in with this one and we're going to create an edgeable card, but we're also going to decorate the full, or not decorate, but die cut the full element out completely. So here we go, we've got, yeah, it's not disappeared. So we've got our decorative die, we've got our outline die that we can see here. So on its own, use them all together. Maybe you want to create a back mat and layer, use that one on its own, then a left or a right side edgeable, or as you said, Ben, it could be your top fold card, mm -hmm. a little bit of a gatefold card if you want. So many different ways. And it's amazing to think the options that you would have with the dies being one, you know, quite a few options, but simply by having them on two separate components, it really does open up more versatility by having them as separate entities, which is such a good thing. But here we are. So bringing in my card blank. So I've gone for six by six card blank on this one here, Ben. And what I'm going to do to start with yeah. is I'm going to have it so that the peonies are towards the top and they're kind of facing downwards. Now I can then determine where I want it to cut. Now I'm going to use this outside die here. So that means this part of the cardstock, that's going to be waste. That's going to be eliminated but I could have it right up to the edge, so I'm wasting very little, or I can have it anywhere I like. I am in full control as to where I want that edgeable to end. Yes, okay. So I'm going to tape that into place. I'm going to secure it with my low-tack tape. And if you want to do this bit separate, if you are a bit uneasy about using two dies together, then you can do. But as long as you secure them properly, with our tape, they will not move, they will not budge, and you're going to get that perfect die cut in every time, even when it comes to a machine such as the MIDI that I'm away to use for this one. Yes, I think this is, well, I know you love your junior, but second to your junior, this is your, your next favourite machine, isn't it? It is, yeah. You, you used to have one of these, I think, of your own, didn't you? I used to. A while back. I used to, and yeah. They missing. But it seems to have uh, disappeared. Yeah, what seems to disappear gone? I well, don't know where it's gone, no, actually. No, 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 I don't. I'll, uh, yeah. Don't know. I'll find it when I'm not looking for it. Probably, yeah, yeah. But in the last place you look. Of course it will. It always is, isn't it? Uh, oh, always. Always is. Always. So what we can do is we can pop these bits out. We're then going to come in and let's take our die tool. And we're going to take all these little bits out. So I'm going to pop all them out. Now this is then what's given us that border all the way down the right hand side, but if I used the other outline die, what would have happened, Ben, is that would have given me the edgeable on the left hand side. So, so many options from that one die. Yeah, and it's what Mary's just said actually, another great collection, so many possibilities. And uh, Lee Lee Rugg on YouTube says, oh, I think I've got these panel border dies. I need to go take a quick peek and see. How exciting. I love to have the classes for the products, still learning, and your ideas are just magnificent. Oh, um, thank you. It does make me laugh, actually, the amount of um, our lovely crafty family who, you know, when we bring these items to air, and they go, oh, I think I've got those somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of, like, parcels you guys get, and then things get put to one side, and you forget you've even got stuff in your craft room. Does that happen to you, Craig, that you've got so it much does. stuff that you think, oh, yeah, I'm sure I bought those a while back. Yeah, yeah, it does. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I'll, you know, I'll watch Debbie, I'll watch Dan, I'll think, oh my gosh, I forgot that, I've, I've got that as well. And yeah. then uh, I see it and I'm like, oh, I need to watch it, I need to make, I need to get creative. Yeah. And that is such an actual uh, good point, Ben, to pick up on. Now, let's face you know, we are crafting company here. You know, we are here to inspire you, give you incredible deals. But let's face it, you know, we need to... We, we, need to, we need to make a little bit of money Only as well. Yeah. However, the reason we come back time and time again, because many of you maybe already have this, so we could have come with another product you've not seen for a while and maybe got some money out, out of uh, the products that we've got. But that's not what we're all about. We're about inspiring. So, so many have maybe already got these edibles, 
but that doesn't matter. We want you to come back, get inspired, think how can I use them and get back to maybe using them if you've not done that in the past. And that's the way that we'll go as well. And that's what I'm so proud of with working from the company here. It's not all about sales you know, sales, it is all about inspiring and giving you all the inspiration possible when it comes to using our products at Crafters Companion. Just as long as we make enough money to keep Craig in his uh, Lucasaid and white chocolate, then, then that's I, it, isn't it? That's all we need. That's I've actually got my Lucasaid today. <laughs> what about white chocolate? You white I, chocolate orange? I don't. No? Oh. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I am cutting down on that, Georgina. Look at what are you cutting down on? The, oh, the, the energy drink. The, the energy drink, yeah. yeah. The, the, the one that's not too good for you. Yeah. So I'm cutting down on that one. Usually just save that for the long days and late nights. Yeah, you know when I need some extra wings? Yes. That one. Ah, well, does it give you wings, is it? Yeah, apparently so. Oh. Apparently so. Um, so yeah, on the look is it. Uh, Susie Teaser said, so you don't have to use the outline dies at all, right? So you can just cut into the card. You can indeed. That's what we mean about the versatility, isn't it? It is. And I tell you what, we'll show you that just in a second. Oh, OK. So for this one, what I've done, Ben, is I have used all three dies and that will give me a full separate die cut element. Yeah. What you will need to do is once you pop it out, see how the die just doesn't quite meet at the top and bottom. That's that's normal, that's on purpose. Don't worry, it's not as if it's a little floor, that. It's just so that we get the nice outline all the way around. We can't have the dies too close at the top and bottom. But all that you would then do is come along yeah. with your little scissors. Now I'm gonna just roughly cut this bit so I can make it easier for you to see. So down here, all that we're going to do is just follow that line around, snip it out. Let's do the same here, follow it around. Now we have now got our separate component Fab. from the edgeable that we can see here. So we've done our edgeable and then we've also done the full element that comes out. So then what we could do is actually let's show you just as we were on about there a minute ago. Who, who was that question from or comment from? Uh, Susie T. Susie T. Right, let's take a little bit of yellow cardstock and oh yeah, there we go. I can see Susie T's comment just popping up right now. So if I take only the decoration die, yeah. so the die on its own, let's take all these bits out. I'm going to go in now. I'm oh, going you missed to, a bit. To trim my cardstock so it goes through my midi. So let's trim it down to just under six inches. Uh -huh. So let's go right into the middle here. And I think there was a bit of card still in the die. Oh, was there? I think so, yeah. Oh, so there was. Oh, yes, eagle eyes. You got it. Although in saying that, even with the mini, sorry, the midi, I would bet your bottom dollar, I would bet your multi-million pound wage, Ben, <laughs> that that would have still die cut. <laughs> Straight into the middle. Yep. Run that one through. Multi-billion, not million. Multi-billion, sorry, yeah. 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 Uh, is that why my expenses were refused? <laughs> Joke, joke. <laughs> uh, here we go. So if I take that one out. Oh, here we go. Now then, there we go. Yeah. So that's now cut into our cardstock. Look at that. So these are like, so it's, it's left, right, up, down, in, out, shake it all about. It, they it's, are like hokey cokey dies. It they? is. They are, ho that's a, I love that. Yeah. These really are hokey cokey dies. Yeah. They really are. So what I'm going to do is I realise my card blank, Ben, I've actually done it wrong. So let's go in, let's make another one very, very quickly. And I'll explain what I've done wrong. So I've kind of disappeared and traveled down the wrong line of my original plan. Right. So let's go back in. So I'm creating my own, well, it's just shy, a six by six card blank. So what I'm going to do is back to my card blank. So we've got our die cut element. Now, all that I want here, this is actually going to go on place. So all that I want is the edgeable factor on my card blank. So I'm going to pop that one there. So if I bring in the other one that I done to start with that I didn't mean to do, this one, see how I've cut the full decorative panel down the side? So this is just going to cut the outline? It's just cutting the outline. Oh yeah. So then there we go. So there is another way. Now is that going to just fit? So if I go 
bit of an angle here. I tell you what, as a first set for anyone who wants to get into card making and die cutting, I mean, you couldn't go too far wrong with this no, set. No, you can't. Because like you say, you've got so many different possibilities uh, to be able to use these. And the fact that that outer die is in two portions just makes these, I think, probably one of the most versatile, set, versatile sets that we do, right? Yeah, yeah. So versatile. So versatile. Um, and so I've just seen James's comment just coming up on Facebook that we'll answer in a minute because I get that asked so many times, Ben, about our guillotine. Oh, uh, oh yeah, just seen that as well. What? Yeah, it's, I think it's a very recent comment about what line it is on Which the guillotine. Which line is the line for measuring it, yeah. the groove in the scoring, but is it in front of the line or behind it? So that's, that really is a good question. Uh -huh. So we'll answer that just in a second for you. Okay. So here we are, let's pop these little bits. So this die is now giving me just the outline. So what I can then do is I can pop that one on and that, as you can see, follows all the way round. So what I'm then going to do, let's use our tape runner. And I'm going to use my dotty tape runner for this one because you've got that intricate detail. So we're working all the way over and something like this with the dotty tape runner, it means that the adhesive is only going to go onto the outlines. So we can then come along and we can position that back into place here. I'm going to press that. I'm going to ask Georgina, how long have I got? Or have I gone over like usual? No? Okay, doc. Right, you. So what I'm going to do here is going to go in, let's pop these little bits out here, Ben. What I'm now going to do, still using the decorative die, let's pop that one out. I've taken some red and our green texture card. So if I come back in with my folder, let's take all these little bits out. Yeah. And these little bits you can be uh, keeping a hold of. They're good for maybe, you know, at, at weddings or for your shaker cards. Obviously here, certainly here in England anyway, in just under two weeks we'll be, you know, yes. you know, back to normal. I say that loosely, but do you know yes. what I mean? All our restrictions being uh, lifted. Well, be it will be pretty much normal, isn't it? Yeah, it? Well, yeah, yeah, it is. It is back to normal. When it comes to restriction-wise, yeah, back to normal. So if you are doing your bigger wedding invitations or that, anything like that where you need to confetti, yeah. always look at the bits of waste that comes out of your die cuts. Just whilst you're using the MIDI, Margaret wants to know, can you tell me, Craig, is it, is, is it as easy to use the MIDI as it is the Mini? I have problems with the strength in my hands, says Margaret. So if Margaret's using the Mini, is it as easy to use the MIDI? It is, yep. yeah. It is the, it's the MIDI. Just think of it as the mini, yeah. but slightly bigger. And to show you that, so of course, that is the folder that you get with your Gemini MIDI. And actually, fact, with the incredible Hero Tool deal that you get, you actually get three folders in total. But if you do have the MIDI, the mini folders will still go through yes. your MIDI. So let's take, do you know what, let's, I'm just gonna take a piece of card here, just so that I can show you. And I would say, the fact that Margaret's using the Mini, the fact that the Midi is bigger in size, obviously, if you're using the Mini, I would say definitely you're gonna be able to use the Midi, because obviously everything's slightly bigger. So if you have got dexterity issues, yeah. uh, it's gonna be, I would say, easier to use. It will, yeah. Now, obviously, I just need to snip that away because the die didn't come all the way down. But that is the Mini folder, so that will still go through your Midi as well. Yeah. But even, you know, the, the way that the turn with the handle at the back, you know, it's the same uh, strength that you will need for the Mini, you're going to need for the Midi. So if you can do the Mini, then you'll be uh, having no problem at all using the Midi. Good out. So there we go. Really good question. Really good question. Now, what I'm going to do here is using the red card, I popped it under a specific area of the peony, and I'm going to pop all these little bits out. So if I work my way along, pop them out. Now at home, you'll be able to spend a lot more time. And I find this bit very uh, cathartic by going in with our card blank. So if I then take some of these bits. So I'm going to have a look at this smaller peony part and I'm going to use my tacky glue 
or you can always use, if you've got your uh, Quickie glue pen, any of your glue pens that you've got at home, you can use them as well, but also our tacky glue with the fine nib, that's also going to work. Yeah. So let's see if we can get this coming out. Let's pop this using the pin. Anything that you see me using or Ben talk about that we don't uh, actually have with on the show, you'll find so much of it on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. And uh, with things starting to get back to normal, you know, more and more stuff is uh, back in stock. Any few things that are still out of stock, they will be due back in. So just always keep an eye on the website but it will be coming back. It's a week on Monday, isn't it? When we everything gets back to normal? A uh, week on Monday, yeah. Wow. I know. I, I, I just, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Now, you know, of, of course, we, we've talked about this and that, you know, and like so many of you at home as well, we will be sensible, we will be careful. For instance, if I go to, you know, a big event or something like that, I may be inclined to put my mask back on. Yeah. But just normal, daily, I, occurrence even having you and joe or becky or george right at the side of me not this one meter um safety call it seems so weird to chat about that though though doesn't it i know i know um you and i uh, did a little bit of crafted uh, well we were side by side for a little bit last week and then uh, debbie and i uh, side by side but yeah i just remember like those days back in the day back in the day but you would never think about um standing the opposite side of the studio from each other would you it's, no but now it's so weird to think about standing side by side with you as well it's yeah so strange but i'm and looking forward to it i'm looking forward to it i think we'll still have that element of you know our pack shots across over there for uh, you guys to see exactly what you're going to get at home but just being able to be allowed to be right close to each other yeah and stand and chat and talk and go over the comments. Certainly notice it for wake up call. I think that'll be a big difference on wake up call to be able to do that. Well, it's so, just nice yeah. to have the freedom and not have to worry about that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. nice to have the freedom, you know, if you know, we can stand side by side, you know, if we're not quite fancying it one morning or whatever, we've had a bit of a fallout, you can send me over the other side of the studio. I mean, the exactly. options are there, Craig. The, the options, options are, right are there. there, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's all very exciting. We're usually quite good though at hiding it if we've had a fallout though, so. I can't think I've ever had a fallout with you, Craig, at any point. I don't think I've ever had a fallout with anyone here. Yeah, I can't imagine you getting cross though. You're, you're, you're one of the most sort of laid back. I mean, I like think I'm quite laid back, but I, I think of you as one of the most sort of consistent and sort of laid back people that I know. And I can't imagine, I can't imagine you getting angry. It, it takes a lot. Does it? It takes a lot how to much, really. How much does it take to? To warn you no, it really cross. takes quite a lot to really wind me up, Does to it? really get my, my back up, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I am very much, do you know what, like so many people, uh, not just over a recent uh, year or so, but over life, so many of us go through tough times and that, and I'm very good at being like, do you know what, it's no big deal. No. Whatever's happens, happen. Deal with it and uh, move on. So, no, I'm not one to uh, hold a grudge or... If I do get annoyed, like I say, it takes a lot to really get to me. Mm. That does mean that, yeah, producer Georgina's gone. So that means Scary when Craig angry. gets angry, it's like the Incredible Hulk. Do you remember the TV show? He yeah. used to turn green and rip his shirt off. That's Craig. Don't, what did he say? Don't make me angry. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Yeah. So that's the, it's, it's, the, it's the placid people, the calm people like Craig, you have to be, be aware of, you see, because when he gets mad, oh, 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 ah! <laughs> But I think as a team as well, you know, as busy and as hectic and stressful as it can be, just everyone's personality here, we just bounce off at each other, you know, so it's, it's hard to get annoyed mm. at each other. Look at this. Be oh, beautiful. I love that. Now, I'm way to show you the one because I well and truly uh, ate into my time there, but I would continue to paper piece the rest of your peony and then the little bit of the florals just to the side I would do that in green and this is one that I've done before the only difference is I used a piece of my hunky dory background paper that we can see here so I've done it exactly the same the only difference with a piece of uh, hunky dory or any pattern paper that you've got at home 
but cherry picking out one selection or one section, doing a little bit of paper piece and maybe colouring in with your pens if you want, then you can do. But within that demo there, we of course as well purposely showed you the different ways. So the top, the bottom, left, the right, cut in, cut out, mats and layers, all these different ways from one set alone. You're getting four sets. It works like you're getting 12 elements in total. The Gemini Decorative Panel Border Die Collection, £33.77, $38.87. If you are platinum, that many of you already are, £27.00. And two or $31.10. And, and if you are across in Europe, all your prices in euros are across on crafterscompine.co.uk, here in the UK, dot com for you guys stateside, and dot EU for everyone all across Central Europe. Lots of love coming in for that demonstration. What a nice, simple card, says Marisol. Um, glad Craig can find where those pieces go. I would be lost, says Patty. I think with the paper piecing, it's a case of just sort of taking your time with it a little bit, really, and just having um, a bit of fun with that. Patty also saying, I've got these dies and they are so easy to use. Um, and uh, lo lots of chat about um, craft being a stress buster as well. Boho Funk is saying, crafts are a stress buster too, proven to be good for you. Absolutely they are, you know, great for mindfulness, great for helping you to chill out and de-stress. Uh, and Beth on YouTube says, Craig, that's my hubby. He's very sweet, but if you make him mad, you better run. Fast. Oh. That's what it says here. That's yeah. what it says. I want to know. No, I don't want to know actually because I don't want to know the answer. Like, if, if there was anyone to wind you up, Craig, to send you to that point within our crafty family here, don't answer this question. Who do you think it would be that could push the buttons on you to get you to that, you know, incredible Hulk turning green sort of status? Who, who would that be? Probably Lord Adam. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because he's so good. Uh, he has the best, hilarious, dry personality. Such a great guy. We've got a lot in common, for in, uh, comments such as wrestling and that. But yeah. if, if anyone's going to uh, kind of just niggle at that one, it's going to be Adam. But then I would give as good as I get. Yeah. So it works both ways. But yeah, I'd happily go out and I'd say Lord Adam. Oh, right, well, there you go. Just waiting for him to stomp down the oh, corridor. No, so now. am I. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know if he does. Uh, but just whilst we're waiting for uh, Lord Adam to stomp down the corridor, let me tell you about a deal that we've got coming up uh, in Masterclass a little bit later on. This is a great deal as well, particularly if you love your Centura Pearl cardstock and then you need somewhere to store it as well. I love this deal. Uh, it should be uh, over £31, over $43. Everyone's paying £25 or $35 today. However, if you're platinum, uh, just £20 or $28. Um, it's brilliant because you're going to get a selection of different colours of cardstock. So you're going to get um, 10 sheets of your baby blue. You're also going to get 10 sheets of your baby pink. 10 sheets of the one that I can never say properly, but I shall try. Chartreuse. 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 I know, but it's one of those ones that... What do you call it, Craig? Chartreuse. 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 <laughs> Uh, you're also going to get uh, your fuchsia in there as well and somewhere to store it, right? So you're going to get your um, A4 fab file. You're also going to get dividers in there too. Uh, which is just brilliant. So this is great for storing all of your cardstock in, maybe storing things like your um, your hunky-dory projects in, or great just for kind of everyday life if you need somewhere to store things like documents, whether you're planning a big event. However, that is not all because we're going to give you within this bundle 20 sheets of cardstock for free as well. Uh, those two are coming to you for absolutely free. You've got your turquoise, uh, turquoise and you've got your lavender as well. So 20 sheets of cardstock free. I think that is a fantastic deal. And I think certainly over the last few weeks, we've seen that storage really is at a premium at the moment. Loads of people needing to get sorted. You've got your folder, you've got your five divider pockets in there as well. And you've got all of that cardstock included 60 sheets, but you're only paying for 40, 20 pounds platinum price, $28 if you're shopping with us in the US as well. And we'll chat more about that a little bit later on, on, um, um, master class. Now, for those of you who have just joined us, you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, it's a Wednesday. So normally on a Wednesday, you do the random crafts of kindness, correct. However, for July, we're giving it a little bit of a break and we thought we would do something a little bit different. Uh, and of course, with it being July here at uh, Crafters TV, uh, this is your Christmas event. So uh, as I understand it, Craig, over the next four weeks, is going to do uh, a little chunk of a demo each and every Wednesday with a bit of a Christmas theme that people can follow. Right, Craig? 
Absolutely. That's exactly what we're going to do. So by the end of July, what we will have, what you will then end up with, if you follow exactly what I'm doing, is a little bit of a Christmas organiser. So to help get yourself organised, I like to be organised. And I thought me and Erin got together, because uh, I went to her with this idea and says, well, what about random crafts? Uh, why can I never say that? I don't know. Random random crafts of kindness yes that's not going anywhere no you know, so still get your stories and that and we've still got some that we will bring to you after what we're then going to be doing is just want to do a little bit of a mix up because in the past we've done little segments where maybe one day we've started one thing the next day we've finished off you guys have loved it we have our craft along so I thought let's try this for round about 10 minutes every Wednesday throughout July we'll do section by section by the end of July what we'll have is a little bit of an organizer so that you can keep you know your dates in for Christmas the present list maybe receipt list recipes maybe you need to get the recipes that you want to keep a hold of that you want to try lots of different things that you could put in so where to start of course we need to actually start on an organizer now I know out there there is there's dies there's tools out there that can do the organizer and we do them ourselves as well but I know that so many of you love to physically get scoring get cut in, get uh, die cut in, love folded, all these different things instead of using the die. So therefore, that's what we're going to do here. To start with right now, it's going to be five by seven, but you'll see in a moment, there's no reason that you can chop that down if you change or decide to do it differently. So what I'm going to do is I've chosen to go along the lines of Christmas Red Centura Peril. So we need three pieces. Now this is going to create the actual organizer book, so to speak. Now we need two that are five by seven, and that is going to be your front and your back. Okay. Then we need another one that is five and a quarter inches by seven. So it's five and a quarter inches by seven. And we will answer the oh, question. Jamesy, I was about to say Jamesy's question here. Mm. So to get the accurate cut what you're going to do so five and a quarter you're going to come up to the first line on the quarter so where my finger is so there's always it's around about one or two millimeter gap in between each section so you can see here so there so let's make it easier let's do this one so it's five by seven so we're right up to the five inch mark yeah. and you can see how I am to the right hand side of that indent line. So I'm going to go up to there. So there is my five inch mark. So it is the right hand side of the score line. That's going to give you the perfect accurate measurement. If you go to the left of it, that's going to give you five inches and a millimeter yeah. or two millimeters. So go to the right hand side of your guillotine, whether it's a large, whether it's a small, that's going to give you the accurate measurement of your guillotine. So there we go. So that uh, answers your question, Jamesy, as well as a question so many of you at home asked. What a close-up that was as well. That was good. George with a joystick there, giving it love. George and Georgina back in the building George for the squared. next couple of days. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So now what we're going to do is let's go back into our layer, which is seven inches by five and a quarter. Now, Ben, I'm not going to stand here and do, uh, say, you're going to score at an eighth, two eighths, this, that, the next thing. I'm going to count lines because that's the best way I do it. And I know many of you at home like to do it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go onto my scoreboard here. I'm using our score master. It could be the big one. I'm on the inches side. So I'm going to go to the left hand side. Now I'm going to score at line number two. So to get you started, it is two eighths. Uh -huh. So it is the second line. Line two. So scoring it a couple of times. Then I'm going to count four. One, two, three, four, and score. So that's line six, is that? Oh, don't get me, don't, oh. don't get me mixed up. Is that four from two though? So line four. Yeah. Sorry. Line sorry. two, <laughs> then line four. Yeah. Then we're going to count another four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to count two. Two, six, ten, twelve, right. And then this is where it's going to be repetitive now. So again, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two. Okay. So now four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Another four. One, one, two, three, four. It's like a football formation, this. And then two. Okay. This is what's going to create our spine. 
So four again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two. And then we are left oh, we're with two yeah. down the right hand side. So up to the left, score at two. Yeah. Four. Four, two. Another four. Yeah. Then two. Four, four, yeah. two, four, 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 two, four, four, two, four, two, four, 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 two, four, four, two. Which gives you your lines there. Hey, that was so much easier to follow than going, go at an eight. And then was it? Two, I, I found that much easier Did to follow. Did you? Oh, well, well, I can that, remember oh. that now. I can remember in my head, two, four, four, two, four, four, two, four, four, two, four, four, two. Oh, well, that, that makes me feel a lot better knowing that that was actually beneficial doing yeah, the, really the easy. numbers instead of having to do the eighth of an inch, two eighth of an inch, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to have it so that my spine is on the outside. You know, I want it to be red on the outside. I'm not too worried about the white being on the inside because over the coming weeks we're going to be decorating it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to every fourth line, so with N, four, 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 and four, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold back on themselves. So I'm going to fold each of these ones here. And what that two millimetre line is going to give you is it's going to give you that little bit of width so that when you come to fill, uh, fill your organiser, it's not going to be too bulky. Yeah. Because you're going to have a couple of millimetres to uh, kind of to play with, basically. So fold in all these ones in. So I'm giving them a good fold. If you want to burnish them, then of course you can do. Then what I'm going to do with these other ones Let's fold them ones back on themselves. And it'll come apparent once I've scored all these lines. So what we can do is fold these ones over, each the same way. Fold them over. And then what I'm going to do, once I've done them all, I'm going to come and give them a burnish bin. Okay. Sounds like there's a bit of a Christmas party going on out there. That's what me? I thought. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Someone having a party in her ear. Well, Debbie, Debbie Fisher's just turned up. Oh, well, that explains that's probably, it all. That's probably what it is, to be fair. She's got that, <laughs> I'm going to do it up above, water bottle at the side of her. What? That's not water in there. You know what Debbie's like? She loves a good party, night or day. It's not water in that water bottle. <laughs> it may or may not be uh, water. No, you can definitely hear that she's arrived. Um, she's having a right old gas out there in the corridor to somebody. I'm not quite she sure is what. Indeed. Uh, getting into the Christmas spirit. Oh, by the way, you know, because it is our Christmas event, can we please both uh, say that tomorrow you and I will uh, wear something Christmassy? I'm well up for that. Oh, good, because I've got uh, one of my Christmas jackets and uh, my Christmas shirt in the uh -huh. car, but then I came in and saw that you got, uh, you didn't have one on, so I didn't, I don't want to, you know, come in wearing a Christmas jacket if you weren't going to wear one. Well, I had a Christmas jumper the first day, Yeah. but I just felt like the odd one out, being the only one with one, so ah. I thought, nah. Well, should we definitely do it tomorrow then, yes? Let's definitely do it tomorrow. I shall wear my Christmas shirt in tomorrow. Absolutely. Um, didn't bring Absolutely. a jumper. I've chucked a few of my jumpers away actually on their orders of Mrs. Mosby because she says I've got too many of them. We've been having a clear out, getting ready for the move. Ah. And uh, she told me that um, 22 Christmas jumpers is a little bit extravagant. Ah. Apparently nobody needs 22 Christmas jumpers. Uh, yeah, I do. I mm. do. I've got about four. But four? About yeah. four. Yeah, so one a, one a week for the month really. It's good. But 22, 22, no, too many, too many. Now what I've done so far is I have done my mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, valley. So where you've got that two millimetre, it's around about two millimetre gap, that's going to be sitting proud high up. Then in between these uh, every fourth line, every fourth strip, I've used some of my red liner tape. So what I'm going to do here is if I take this one off, so peel that one up, then I'm going to fold that back to secure it. Yep. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a rub just to let that heat from my fingers go through. So then that way, what it's going to do is give it a really, really good stick. Right. I'm going to do the same here. So let's take this next one. All right. And I'm going to do the same again, just really giving it a good rub. Let the heat come through. And then with it being red liner tape, it's going to be really, really tough. Yep. Take the next one. Now, if you want to take all the tape off at once, you can. The only thing you need to watch for is the fact of you don't want to get all uh, tangled up. No. And get all your layers sticking when you don't want them to. Exactly. 
So do one at a time, yep. giving it a rub. Oh, you do give it a good rub, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it is all about the heat from mm. your fingers through the adhesive, whether it's your tape runner, red liner tape, it works a treat. Last but not least, we're going to do this one again. Yep. This is the last one. Just, I know you're in the middle of a demo, but um, uh, Four Holidays has just joined, just saying, what's Craig making? Just, just uh, reiterate what you're doing again. So now we're starting off what will be a Christmas planner. Yes. We will do another bit next Wednesday, another bit the following Wednesday, and by the last Wednesday of July, we will have a little Christmas planner that you can, uh, well, plan ahead when it yeah. comes to Christmas time. There you go. So a little bit of a different segment that we're going to do today on Wake Up Call each Wednesday going forward mm. over the next three, four weeks. Fab. But then once I've assembled it, that gives you your spine. So I'm going to press and fold that a little bit more. So there is your spine. So you've Brilliant. got your four tabs uh -huh. that we can see here. And then round the back, that is your flexible spine that you can see here. Brilliant. And then last but not least for this section, let's take some more red liner tape. And I'm going to go down one end of my Centura Peril. We're going to do the same within this side here, which is going to be the front and the back. And let's take this one off. And let's take this one off. So if we come back in with our spine, so what I'm going to do is you could have the spine edge over your card blank, but you see how you see that edge? Yeah. I don't want that. I don't want to see that edge. That's why I've put my red liner tape on the back of my front cover or back cover, whichever one it's going to be. And then I'm going to pop it on this way. So I'm going to turn it over, turn this one over, and we're going to match up the spine because this working over the next week or two, as we come to decorate the inside panels, that's going to be hidden. So let's line that one up to the first one, so press that one in. So that will then be what will be our front panel, uh -huh. or at this point it could be the back, whichever one. And then last but not least, let's do the same Yes. on the back. Yep. So we're going to line this one up, and then we're going to press. Even if you want to take this idea, Ben, and just you know go with it on your Crafty Makes at Home, you don't have to do a Christmas planner. No, you can Maybe plan for anything, can't you? You just want to make your own planner yeah. from scratch. So then there we go. So that, on the front and back, Fab. that is the start of our 5 by 7 planner. This point, if you wanted to make it thinner, yeah. you could do it by trimming away. But we are now ready to go next week <gasps> to insert our pages and get started to decorate with what will be part two of our Christmas planner that by the end of July, that will be nicely held in place. And you know, if you do have your handbag or a man bag or that size wise, it's going to be a nice little planner to pop into your pocket. It's not an overly big one. And it's one that you could be bring out when you're out Christmas shopping. You need to check your list or that's nicely held into the bag. And that's why I've decided to make it a five by seven. So it's a very portable one as well. Hang on a minute, you're finishing there. This is like one of those TV shows where it leaves it on a cliffhanger and you have to come back the next week to fight. That's it for now. Yep. You're not going to do any more? Nope. That is it for now till next week. We'll <gasps> move on to the next bit next week. Find out what happens next week. Same time, same channel. Hey, well, that's exciting, isn't it? And also, uh, of course, if you have only just caught the um, end of that demo, maybe you came in halfway through like Four Holidays Designs did, go back and watch it, get to that point, craft up to where Craig has crafted up to, and then send in your pictures as well to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk, whether you can send them in today or later on through the week as well, and then we can share the pictures as to where you've got up to next week when we bring you part two of uh, Craig's four-part extravaganza, which is going to run over the course of the next couple of weeks, or next four weeks, I should say, really. And do let us know if you're making this planner, what are you going to be putting in your planner? What are you going to be planning for? Uh, we would love to know on the uh, usual socials, Facebook and on YouTube as well. Uh, thank you for all the lovely messages coming in. Uh, pleased to hear that Margaret has jumped in and got that midi. Uh, Margaret says, feeling very happy. Um, you will love using that, Margaret. Absolutely, you would. It's a great day uh, to jump in and grab it too. Uh, and lots of you just um, loving that demo of Craig's, as I say, part two next week. Uh, lots more to come. Let us give you a chance to check out your baskets if you've jumped in early and taken advantage of some of these deals already. Let's give you a couple of minutes to get those baskets checked out and we'll come back with more in just a few moments time. Hi, 
am Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easy to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. There we go. Uh, lots of love coming in for um, Craig's four-part demo. Marisol saying, what a great craft along, Craig. And uh, Sandra on YouTube, um, I like it. I will start it in between shows. And that, again, is the great thing, of course. You can uh, come back, watch this show. If you are new to us, best thing to do is subscribe on YouTube, and then you can watch back any of the shows uh, pretty much since we first started. But particularly for something like this, which is going to run over the course of the next four weeks, you can then watch the shows back at your leisure. Uh, and on the uh, subject of Christmas tops, Maria just saying, you need a Christmas top for every day in December. Thank you, Marie. Could you please just tell my wife that? He's got me to chuck away a load of my Christmas jumpers, but never mind. Can we just call it Laura? You what? can show it back to her. Yes, please. Uh, lovely Laura, just to let you know that Ben really does need all these cr Christmas jumpers. Certainly the world that he works in, the industry that he works in, we really do need, both of us, Christmas jumper for every single day. And, well, really, he really needs, to be fair, he needs 360-odd Christmas jumpers. Just saying. Thank you. I'm sure she'll probably listen to you. Um, right. <laughs> yes, get in touch. Support me on the socials, please. I need, I need me Christmas jumpers. I need this support so I can take it to my wife and go, this is the reason why. Anyway, uh, we have got 30 minutes left on the show and we need to be going through um, our uh, MIDI. We want to look at that in just a bit. But before that, from uh, Creative Cravings, a little bit later on, myself and Debbie are going to be looking at the uh, layering texture stamps. And I remember when these first came out, Craig, um, you were very super excited um, about them. And you think these are a great addition to anyone's crafty stash, don't you? That are, because uh, kind of a, a few few reasons as to why it just it does say uh, well I will say right now it works out that uh, you're buying five and you're getting one of them for yeah. free within that price there so if you are platinum then it's $31.96 or $39.80 now this is such an easy transition into or from card making into your mixed media now mixed media of course you think of textures you think of layers you think of all these different sparkle pieces, anything like that that you get but you don't have to use them you can use inks and this with our layering texture stamps it gives you the effect of layering it gives you the effect of texture but all you need is your ink pads water reactive quick dry opaque pigment any other ones that you've got at home and the looks that you can get when it comes to the finished samples so we'll show you the finished samples in a second but let's show you the stamp sets 
and they all coordinate together on each set. But there's nothing stopping you whatsoever for using them as decoration stamps on your daily crafting projects if you want to. You, you, might, you might not have any intentions of using them for layering up. You might just want to use them as accents into your cards and scrapbooks, which you 100% can. But lots of different looks, lots of different effects. That's such a gorgeous one that's going to enhance maybe your woodland animal collection mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Then you'll be able to use that one. And then on this one here, nice floral theme. This is actually the one I'm going to be using in a moment or two. But like our cardstock, when it comes to the ink, it is going to look completely different depending on what colour you can use. So let's show you some finished samples. So this one we've gone down the autumn feel, but there's nothing stopping you. Although you've got your autumn leaves or your fall leaves there, you could be doing that maybe in winter colours, mm -hmm. maybe your blues and your silvers and your grey, and it could be winter theme. And that's what I mean by Ooh, simply I love that one. changing the colours. But look at that one, isn't that good? Yeah. Isn't that good? So this is now really pushing out your creativity into your stamping and your layerings, if you so wish. Layering on top of each other, you know, colour coordinate, tone on tone if you want to, but there's lots of gorgeous effects. If you want to mix and match, now look at this one here that Nikki's made. Oh, wow. So good. Now you would think potentially that's something from dies and stamps from a Sara Signature collection, all done from the stamp sets. Is that a mixture of the stamps within the, is that? So that's the stamps. And uh, this one here, is by elongating it, so it's a trick uh, of the eye. Okay. This isn't actually that long. It is a smaller one, but all that's been done is just been chopped in half and it's been spread Got at you. the back there to give it that look as though it's extra long. Or maybe your concept cards as well. So if you like to use your Ultimate Pro, or your Scoremaster, anything like that, then you can do that. You can get creative. So whether you just want to use them as an accent on your cards, you can do. Or maybe you want to get all inky, then you can do as well. So we're going to get started. I am, I've just noticed Sue's question come in. Craig, did you use the smaller scoreboard? So going by our Christmas organiser, you can use the small or you can use the large one. Uh, as long as, to do the measurements I've done it, as long as you do it on the inches side yeah. and you score it two, four, four, two, four and four. So as long as it's on the inches, you can use your large score uh, scoreboard, your small one. It doesn't have to be hours either. As long as you do it on the inch side, you're going to get that same lined effect each time. So hopefully that helped. And Betty's just said, I have these stamps, but struggle with how to use them. Well, this is where you need to stay tuned, Betty, because hopefully uh, you'll pick up a few hints and tips here. I think the thing here, Craig, is probably not to get overawed with all of the different kind of textures and layers that you've got with all of these stamps, is it? No, you're absolutely spot on there. Don't get, you know, overly powered by them. Don't worry about them. Don't panic about them. Go in, have a little bit of a play. Yeah. So this one, so three I'm going to use for my background, ocean blue, uh -huh. straw bale, and a little bit of sandstorm. And this one, I'm not actually even using stamps just yet. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some color. And with your texture stamps, see how I've got kind of lines appearing. I'm not blending them in. Mm -hmm. This is a very forgiving technique to do by using your layering stamps. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be smooth. Although our Harmony Water Reactive ink pads give you that incredible effect of getting smooth layered colors, you don't need to worry. If you've got little dash lines like I'm, I'm purposely doing here to show you, don't worry about it. Keep it going. And I'm going to go into a little bit of sandstorm now, and I'm going to go direct as well. So we're adding the colour, and I'm only creating a background just now with these stamps using the three colours. So let's go in straw bale at the moment, and we'll add a little bit of sandstorm. Patty just saying, I've got these layering stamps, having fun using them with different media types. Uh, Diana saying, I love, love, love the stamps. Um, and Gilbert is saying, I would love master classes with abstract stamps to show us different projects as well. Um, yeah, so keep those uh, comments coming in. Like I said, I just think this is a, a, a great collection just to have. It's like not to get too worried, like Craig was saying, Betty, you know, just have a play with these, see what works for you. Um, and, and great, again, like um, Patty was saying, for, um, you know, mixed media as well, just for having a play, getting all your different um, inks out as well and just... 
not worrying too much. This is all about having fun, right? If you make a mistake, yeah. just start again. And actually, there's never really a mistake in craft, is there? Because you can always kind of adapt it to something else, else if it doesn't quite come out exactly how you wanted it to. But again, yeah. this making of a background, so, so super simple, isn't it? Super simple. And prime example, see how I'm getting little marks there from mm. the ink that's on my fingers? I'm not caring. No. Nah. Don't care. You don't care. Don't care no, in the slightest. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it there. Either it'll be covered up or it will work with that rustic look that majority of the time you tend to go for when it comes to stamping. Mm -hmm. But that's all that I'm going to do with that background. So once again, that was ocean blue, straw bale and sandstorm. Let's actually just go around a little bit more with the ocean blue to create our background. And just whilst you're blending as well, Linda's just message to say, I bought some glycerin, but I forgot. When do I use that for blending? So your glycerin is when you're going to be using your... Is it your pens and pencils? Gosh. Your, your alcohol pen. It's your alcohol pens, isn't it? Pen... Yeah, alcohol yeah. pens for uh, blending. Yeah. There, your glycerin. So I think you could use it with your, your water down your water, your aqua pencils. Yes. It's been that long since I've done it. I'm sure that it's that way. Yeah. Um, I have a look on Colour Me Happy. Debbie Robinson, absolute genius at that sort yeah. of technique. So yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to go into my quick dry mm -hmm. and we're going to do a little bit of random stamping. Okay. If you've only got water reactive, Ben, still just use your water reactive. I can't stress enough about don't worry about being perfect. If you miss bits, if you get a bubbled effect, don't worry. It's all about layering your stamps up. Uh -huh. So I'm going to come in now and we're going to go into this kind of like this mesh net in here and I'm going to sit that one on. Let's go in with our Fryer Brown. Let's ink that one up. And I'm going to go randomly round the side. So you literally do just go randomly. And I know you were saying that. So there is no kind of real thought here as to what you're nope. doing. You're just plonking it wherever it kind of looks right, wherever it sort of sets right. And I'm not go. doing full pressure, Ben. Yeah. So see where I'm missing these bits there? Mm -hmm. That is because... I can't say I'm doing it on purpose, but I am purposely not pressing hard. Yeah. So it will miss bits. I don't know where it's going to miss, but it will miss bits. And that is where you're getting that layering effect. So I'm going to keep going round. And you can go all the way into the centre if you want. I'm choosing to use this mesh to go round the sides. And then what we can do is use some of the other stamps to start to decorate the centre into here. And initially, are you using stamps from one particular bundle within the main bundle, if you know what I mean? Uh, no, I've just taken random selection. Oh, just... Yep, Brilliant. random selection. So quick dry that I've got to the side of me is your Fryer Brown. I've got some orange, honey pot and parakeet. So a good selection of different colours. Some you wouldn't necessarily think would go together, but work it. Just work it. <laughs> See what you can come up work with. Work it. Work it. Work, work, work it. Work it, work it, work it, work it. And I've taken another piece of white smooth stamping card. And that's what I used a second ago as well, stamping card. And I'm going to pop it in. And then I'm going to go in. Let's do the fryer brown again. So we're going to stamp this one out. So let's give it a stamp. This is probably the one time, the one technique where I would say don't use your 8x8 magnetic stamping platform. Uh -huh. You know, I always bang on about how you should use it if you want perfect stamping. It's, you know, Jan's favourite tool. But when it comes to your layering, your textured effect, I would say don't use it. If, if you want a perfect look, go for it by all means. But don't worry too much. Ooh. So even all the way around. Yes. And this is pure crafting. This is taking cardstock, this is taking paper, stamps and inks and just playing. Simply playing and seeing what you come up with. So let's go back into your straw bale, water reactive, and I'm going to go in all the way around. And because I've used Fryer Brown Quick Dry, it's not going to smear, but if you use Fryer Brown Water Reactive and done what I'm doing now, you will still get a blending uh, effect from the centre panel here because the Water Reactive wouldn't have dried as of yet. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go in, we're layering 
our ink. And then what we can do again, let's go in, fry our, fry our brown, <laughs> quick dry, and very roughly. Yeah. I'm giving it a full matting layer that we can start to position Ooh, okay. into the middle. So simple and so super effective. It is simple, but I'm not thinking about it. No. I'm not thinking about it. I am literally going in, right, let's take this stamp. Let's go in with a little bit of parakeet. No, no, let's go in with a little bit of orange now. But I know what people will say, like people who are quite new to crafting will go, well, it's easy for you to go, I'm not thinking about it because you've been obviously crafting a long while. But it, re it really is that. I think, particularly with a collection like this, the more you overthink it and the more you worry about it, the, the harder it's going to be. Just like literally Craig has just said, just choose a few colours, uh, choose a few stamps and just sort of go with the flow. Yeah. Have fun with it, see what you create. And if at the end of it you look at it and go, eh, not really too fond of that, you can just start again. But I think, yeah, the more you overthink it, um, then maybe the harder it's going to be. But I can literally, I'm just watching Craig in the, the monitor there and I can see, I mean, I mean, brain is not engaged there. He's just, um, nope. just, just picking things up and just having a bit of fun. You know, the cogs aren't turning in there right now. No, you know, they're not. You know. They're really not. <laughs> the vacant look on his face that I can see right now just shows me that he's not thinking about what he's doing. No, <laughs> I'm literally trying to, I'm purposely trying to do it quick so that I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. So I'm really going in. This time, instead of inking my flower, what I've done is I'm spritzing with water and then I'm going on to my water reactive background and that's going to give it a rough textured organic water or a full bleaching effect. Yeah. So that water on the flower is going to pick up the ink so we can start to see the full bleaching. Yeah, it creates like a watermark effect. That's it? it. So don't always think as though you have to use yeah. your ink. That one there, I've gone and dabbed it and I've put some brown in. Yeah. Guess what, Ben? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I like it. It's organic. Organic. Yes. So then we can come back in into here. Do you know what we'll do is let's go around the edge yeah. with our fry our brown. And this was a demo that I purposely didn't prep because how can I prep something that I don't know what I'm going to do? Exactly right. Because you're not thinking about it. No. 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 Brain disengaged. Now, I could have prepped something, come along and try to recreate it, but then I'm having to think about it. Yeah. And that I don't And want. you're not thinking about it today. No. No, I, don't I know that. I do any thinking today. <laughs> I've done all my thinking yesterday. Yeah, and today, you just want to come in and just off the cuff. Exactly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is let's take a piece of white smooth stamping card. Can you imagine how different this would look if I used full blues and baby pinks and that sort of colour? But obviously I'm going down the brown road. Mm -hmm. And then what we can do is let's come in with our little sentiment. We've still got all of these florals that we can still be using. But I'm going to come in now. Let's put our sentiment. I'm going to go back into my water reactive with my straw bale. So let's go in with a straw bale. Not being precise, if I get little guidelines, I'm not worried. I want to at least lay down that colour. Get that in. Let's go in with a little bit of excess blue that's on my blending pad. Then what we can do is let's go back in with fry our brown. Let's go in with our sentiment. Let's take that excess water. I'm going to stamp this one in. Let's go. I'm going to go into the middle for now because uh -huh. I can always trim down. So let's go. Thanks. And then I can rough. I'm going to roughly cut here. Here's a good question then. You might not be able to answer this. Terry Tom says, any suggestions on how to stay random? I start random and by the time I get done, there's a pattern like my brain takes over my hand and puts in a pattern almost like yeah, you go into like autopilot. So how do, yeah. we, how do we stay random? A, a tip that I can give you, random is all about stamping off your page. So see how I've stamped off the page here? Yeah. Sometimes some of you find it difficult to stamp off the page. So let's say, for instance, say I wanted it to be five by five. Uh -huh. Instead of stamping onto a five by five card blank, do it onto something big, yeah. six by six, seven by seven, stamp it, 
then trim it down. Got you. So you're not focusing on stamping into the edges of your card. You're literally creating a collage, then come and trim it down. And then that will automatically, once again, organically create off the edge pages, layers within the cardstock that you're using. That is a top tip right there. So Ding. always stamp big and then trim down yep. if you do have that, that issue. Hopefully that's helpful, Terry Tom. So let's go in with a little bit. Ben, I, I could honestly stay here the rest of the show and just keep doing this because it's so much fun. Yeah. But you can go in, do little bits of fussy cutting if you want. Of course, you can then change them around Ooh, if I, you want as I prefer well. it the other way. It could be the card blank. It yeah. could be fancy card shapes if you want. Yeah. You can come along and you can start to do heat embossing with them if you wanted to as well. Lots and lots of different things that you can still continue to do yeah. when it comes to the textured layering stamp. And actually, <laughs> I'm really quite liking the way that that's coming together. I'm actually. loving it. I it really like that look. It's organic, it's random, it's slightly rustic, as producer Georgina is just saying. It's it um, got a lot going for it, that card, I love it. It is, so onto a card black, you don't even need any card mats and layers, because we've done the faux matte and layer. Uh, what I will do after the show is I will pop it onto a card blank. But there you go, that's one of many things that you can be doing with the layer and texture stamp collection, where you've got 51 elements in total. So you've got six packs, but within each pack you are ranging between seven to 13 stamps. Stamps. £39.99 here in the UK for you guys stateside, $49.75. Everyone's saving 15%. If you are platinum, $31.96 or $39.80. You guys across in Europe, just go to .eu. Always check ahead at the shows that's coming up throughout today with Debbie and Ben and see what else you might just want to pop into your basket before the day. Over the last few weeks, uh, Creative Cravens has uh, been uh, themed to be uh, rather, rather busy as of late. So always worthwhile getting in there, first of all, now, Ben. Absolutely right. And listen, isn't it brilliant? I love that. Uh, Terry Tom Anderson asked the question about um, how to stay random. We answer it live on telly, and then Terry Tom comes back and says, very helpful, thank you guys. That is what we're here for. Any questions, any, any way we can be of assistance to help you with your crafting, get those questions in. Um, Dan is saying, I use that little uh, stamping platform the most, and Suzette Sue's just saying, I have those stamps as well. Have not had a chance to use them yet. So hopefully, after that demo though, uh, you will get those out and get crafting. Dan K. Lewis has just said, I so enjoy watching Craig craft. It's mesmerizing and he explains things so that I can understand it and thank you to Lorraine as well we're just chatting about Christmas jumpers earlier on and how my wife has made me get rid of a few uh, Lorraine Bennett says please Lady Laura Lord Ben needs at, needs at least nine more Christmas jumpers so he has one for every day in December sincerely Lorraine Bennett Lorraine thank you so much I will uh, send that to Lady Laura along with um, Craig's little video that he uh, filmed for me just a few moments ago and then hopefully by December I will have uh, one jumper per day now We've got, uh, I know Georgina. Oh, I know. You don't have to tell me. I know that. She's just gone, and we're going to get the demo of the show vote going now because we do that in Wake Up Call, Ben. I know that. She doesn't talk like that at all. I just do that to wind her up. I just do that to wind her up. So, uh, Craig, uh, apparently we do a vote on uh, Wake Up Call for the demo of the show now. So could you please remind us as to uh, what we could be voting for? Since when have we started this? I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Let's read the finished result of what we've done on demo one, whereas what I'd already done is doing the pattern paper on the back. But that is using our edgeable that we can see here. So a multitude of different ways and how you can use them that we picked upon within the first demo. And then Ooh, what we've done yeah. on this one here, still to attach it, but I might, well, if it wins demo of the show, amazing. If not, what I'll do is I'll take it home and uh, finish it off onto a card blank and that. But there mm. we go. That is using a textured layering stamp that we can see there. Done two for now, because of course we did do uh, the beginning of the Christmas organizer, which of course we won't be including because that no. is going to be a weekly occurrence. But that's uh, two options that you've got there for demo of the show. Ooh, get voting then. I will give you six minutes to get your vote. Oh, Georgina, that was freaky. We said that exactly at the same time. Dead. That's so weird. Great minds. Six minutes, get voting one or two on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, we will, of course, put the winner up on our Crafty Walk of Fame uh, for later on's vote on the demo of 
the day. Now, let us get cracking with the next deal that we've got. And I'm so pleased that we have got this machine back in stock because um, as much as I want to do a little bit more crafting at home, this is the machine that myself and my daughter use, mainly thanks to the fact that Craig gave us a MIDI on a long loan. And, and actually, well, it, it, it was supposed to be for about a week, but we've now had it months. Um, but once I move up here, I, no, I, I'm not using it, Georgina, as much as I would like to, simply for the fact that we've got a lot of packing and moving and stuff to do. But the plan is, spare room in the new house is going to be sort of like a crafty slash musically slash studio type place. So I'm hoping to use it more. But the times that we have used this machine, I've just felt in control. And as you know, I like to do a little bit of crafting, uh, but I like to keep things simple. And that's what this machine is for me. It is simplicity without electricity. Boom. There's nothing complicated about this. You don't have to think about, uh, you know, sandwich, plate formations and all these kind of things. It's so simple, yet you get the power that you would expect from the electronic machines in a manual machine. This deal is phenomenal for the fact that you're going to get your MIDI machine um, with your folders and your shim but we're then going to give you extra uh, folders two extra and an extra shim and the storage bag for free as well this is worth over 100 pounds almost 130 dollars platinum price today for club inspired platinum members is 55 pounds 99 or 71 dollars 96 on a normal day the midi is the machine that comes into stock and then sells out super quick i've no doubt the fact that we're giving you all of these added extras on top in this particular deal uh, it is going to go just as quickly uh, as it has come back into stock so um, I might uh, walk over that side of the studio and um, go and have a little play with the machine good. with Craig good. and a little Natter. So, uh, Craig, let's get your take on the MIDI because I think this is—is is this your second favourite machine to the Junior? It is. Yeah, it is uh, because I've, I've explained time and time again, obviously my craft room at home, which you all guys know from my lies, I have my junior to the left hand side and I have, uh, sorry, I have my junior to the right hand side, my midi to the left hand side as well. Use my junior all the time, but with the midi, what it is, it is folder base. And of course, it is a lot quicker. You know how I like to do things uh, quite quick sometimes if I'm having to do a lot of prep. If I am against the time, then this is when I use my midi. Similar to our Mini, we've got incredible suction underneath as well. So a non-porous surface, glass mark table, you're going to get that incredible strength and bond to your surface. Now it is uh, A5 in size as we would say, so anything that you already know would go through. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. I love, I love it so much. At least we can stop that shortly as well, eh? So yeah, so this is, and you already know, go through your junior, we'll go through your midi. It is folder based. So what I would always recommend with the folder as well, you can use them on both sides. So please do remember to flip and rotate each time you go to do your die cutting. You only need these for the dies. So then what it'll also do is your 2D embossing folders, and it will also do your 3D embossing folders. Die cutting, we'll do in a moment, again, is the folder base. When you use your 2D embossing folder, you're going to use the plastic shim. Yep, correct. That comes with it. Mm -hmm. And when you're going to be using your 3D embossing folders, what else do you need? Nada. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. So let's go straight in. I tell you what, let's do a little bit of die cut. Well, actually, no, because we've been using it throughout the show as well as throughout uh, yesterday. So let's go straight in with our 2D embossing folder. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it on black. The reason we do it on black to show you is because we can then come along with uh, a little bit of gilding wax and show you the sheer depth that you get. So embossing folder with your cardstock, sit it underneath your plastic shim on top, whichever way, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to feed that up and then we're going to roll it. Now, for something like this, I can keep go one hand. Yeah, I always do like to just put my hand on to secure it. I thought you were going to get me to do that. You could pass that and I could do it here. Oh, oh yeah, I'll do that in a sec. Okay. Now, we'll be able to see just in a second or two, well, maybe not on the black, this is why we do it on the black so that we can come in. Do you want to do this bit? Oh, I don't know. I've never done this before. You know, there you go. Right, you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. <gasps> I've never, I've never done this. You've never done gilding wax no. before. There we go. I just. just so I would, I would do a little bit onto the glass mat just now. Take some of that Ooh, excess cool, off. I've got loads on there, haven't I? Yeah. Take some of that excess that's off. That's enough. Yeah. yeah. That's enough. Well, you can't see it now, though, can you? Do you want to do it there? So if I go here, and then at least then you can see both. 
Now that's a 2D embossing folder. Well, a bit of it heavy handed there, haven't I? Gone just a little bit. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's fine. Don't, don't you apologise. You never need to apologise. But the reason we're doing this is this to show you this is a 2D embossing folder that's gone through the MIDI. Well, really heavy handed. And you still get real depth. Yeah, you do. From the embossing. Yeah. So that is just your 2D embossing folder. So you can just see the chevron zigzag yes. that you've got there. All right, so 2D, yeah. not losing any pressure from your MIDI compared to like your junior or the large Gemini. Then to do a 3D embossed, don't you do? You can do it on my arm, just not onto my shirt. 3D embossing folder. So again, if I give that to Ben, mm -hmm. and then do you want to do do you want to do black again or do you want to do white? What do you want to do? Uh, well, we'll do white and we can do ink over the top in a minute. Okay. Okay, doc? Yeah. So sandwiching that one through. Mm -hmm. And then 3D embossing folder, no shim, nothing whatsoever. Roll that one through. And then I will get... Oh, destroying uh, the set. Let's go in. Let's go in with a little bit of red berry if you want. And then you'll be able to see from the white, from up above, just you can just see it there. Yeah. And then, if anyone's going to crinkle it, Ben will. How did I crinkle that? Was I a bit too heavy with it? Do you know, I think what it is, to be fair, I think because you're doing it at a jaunty angle. Oh uh, yeah, you maybe know, it doesn't been help. Actually. Sorry. But oh, again, don't he comes apologize. over this side of the studio, too heavy-handed with his gilding wax, crinkles the card. He'll not invite me again, will he? Oh, I will be. I will be. We're on counting. Less than two weeks to go. But then, going up above, that is your 3D emboss with your MIDI. Fab. So anything that's A5 or smaller are going to go through your MIDI. It's such a workhorse to have at the side. If you maybe do also own the, the, uh, the mini, mini, the mini folders will also go through the MIDI as well. As we established yesterday, they'll actually go through sideways. But if I do use them, oh, I use them Oh, you can put them through length lengthways, can you? Yeah. So you can either pop them in sideways, yeah. that way, and running that one through. Oh, that's how I expected, but they go through the other way. But I, Well, I tend to use them that way, because mm. I always like to have the fold of the folder at the top, so I'll run it through that way. So yes, day in, day out, I use my junior. If I'm at my own leisure, sitting, crafting, prepping away till my heart's content, I'll use my junior. But if I've got a lot to do, or even just little bits, as much as the junior, the large Gemini's got that reverse feature, by going at your own speed, if you're like me and really, really quick, you can get so many die cutting done, so many embossing done when it comes to the MIDI machine. An absolute incredible hero tool for the day. Absolutely, uh, fifty-five ninety-nine platinum price, or seventy-one dollars ninety-six, uh, and you'll be seeing more of that a little bit later on Creative Cravings. Uh, there's so much to look forward to today. I tell you what, absolutely fantastic! I can't believe we're almost at the end of the show. We have got a result on the demo of the show, um, and actually, particularly love this one on YouTube out of uh, our viewing platforms. But the winner is one. Way! That, that was a great card. Do you like that one? Really like, Do you that. like I'm that. Glad one. that one. Yeah, using our panel die, this one using the peony. I like to think of it as a rose, but it could be whichever one that you want. This is uh, what we've done first and foremost on Wake Up Call, but this is actually going to be part of the masterclass coming up next with Debbie Fisher and Ben, of course. So incredible two hours dedicated to lots of different edibles, uh, cards and projects that you can be making. That will be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. And then you're both going to be back again, aren't you, for later? on we are creative cravings yeah very much looking forward to that uh coming up a little bit later on which is seven o'clock here in the uk two o'clock on the east coast uh, and then of course um you and i back together tomorrow for the wake up call where we are both going to don't stitch me up here don't stitch me up here we're gonna wear christmas jumpers tomorrow we are, yeah, definitely oh, good, good definitely and for the first time in i feel literally ages you and i get to do a cartload together tomorrow i know as well. 
This is going to be fun, isn't it? This is going to be fun. As much as, I've said it time and time again, as much as I love cl uh, master classes, etc., etc., wake up call separate, of course. This is always my favourite. I love cartload. Absolutely. I love the fast pace. I seen earlier on today, actually, uh, what we've got coming up. Oh, yeah. What I'm specifically, especially, Looking forward to this one. It's, there's quite a few cartload bundles. Mm. So it's not all, oh, it's here and there. It's nice little bundles with some awesome prices as well. So that's going to be a good one. Yeah, plenty to look forward to uh, tomorrow. Plenty to look forward to today as well. And uh, as you will have probably heard a little bit earlier on, uh, my crafty partner in crime for the next few hours is already in the building. She is. Uh, <laughs> you couldn't fail her here when she arrived. Uh, Debbie Fisher is here, so I shall look forward to spending the rest of my day with her. Uh, but that's you done, isn't it, for the day? Uh, it's me uh, done for live shows. I'm going to head home shortly and get some prep done for the next couple of days. Do obviously, of course, follow me on social media and maybe give you some sneak peeks. But I will see you right back here in the same chair, in the same studio at the the same time tomorrow for Thursday's edition with Wake Up Call with the man himself, Ben. See you then. Bye. Bye.